brauchen. Greetings, I am Takur. Hey Takur, thank you for coming. Greetings, Max, it's good to see you. How may I help you today? I just wonder if you know anything uh, other than what Grindel said, like um, what's happening outside the, the planet? Are there any uh, developments? Yes, there's many. Um, mm -hmm. There are those that are ready to step in if, uh, if they are allowed to, or if they are able to. They are able to, but I'm not sure if they are permitted to. So um, mm -hmm. the, the thing is, there are many that are equipped to help in, in all stages of this disease. But at this point, the, uh, the origin is unclear. So we mm -hmm. are not permitted to step in unless it is, becomes clear that an alien um, uh, plot is afoot or aliens mm -hmm. had something to do with this mm -hmm. disease. Mm -hmm. Other than that, if humans are the sole creators of it, then we cannot step in, which is very sad because we could do much to help it. Right. Um, the, the big change was expected, and um, I assume you already have the plan what to do when the big change comes to the planet. And there are other changes coming, as we are told. This is not the only one. The financial change is coming with this one, which is, uh, mm -hmm. there, I mean, part of the financial change, not the complete financial mm -hmm. change. But mm -hmm. part of it is coming now, and part of it will come later. But it is affecting your economy all over the world. So mm -hmm. it is something that to be looked at. There are some places that will not be able to withstand this uh, this collapse of the of the of economy, and there will be some countries that will show that weakness in the days to come. So, is Gurkhvitnir still uh, focused on the planet? Of course. Why wouldn't we be? I didn't hear from you for a while, so I'm I'm chicken. Yes. So we do, your... we, I do come on the webinars now and then to give updates. Have so you been doing there... them? No, no thanks. Um, is there then a plan? You don't know when I come. Yeah. Is the plan for the first contact um, affected by this change? No. Well, that's a very vague question because there are many changes coming with this change as well and there are other things coming after this change that will also um, be notable so first contact will come when uh, more eyes are opened and more people are willing for us to come you have to have a majority mm -hmm. we would love to come I myself would love to meet with many of the people on your planet, but I am not able to do so at this time. We are able to communicate with you this way and through mediums and other sources, but not in person or holographically. Those things are not permitted. Now when uh, everybody is occupied with, uh, with our own problems, the information about the aliens would... Uh, would not cause a big panic. So uh, uh, sending some information, showing up in the sky here and there, like... Uh, we do would, show uh, up, yes. Would help a lot. We show so, up in the sky um, many, many different places. Those with high fourth dimensional energy can see us. Uh, yeah. We will be able to be seen um, by more and more people as time goes on because of the fourth dimensional portals that are open. But if we also uh, come into the atmosphere a little more, we do brush with the uh, electromagnetic field that is there and that also can make us visible to a certain extent. Also, mm -hmm. if you're using infrared lighting, 
Some mm -hmm. ships are being able to see through infrared lighting. Yeah, I'm, uh, I haven't seen you guys yet, and uh, I'm part of C5, which is Close Encounters 5 movement, where people just sit, sit in at night, meditate, and inviting you. And so Have you far, not... Go ahead. So far, nobody like see any increase, I guess. So there is like fewer, fewer sightings than there were before. No, untrue. There are more sightings now, but they are in specialized places. Uh, mm -hmm. There are more ships around your planet than ever before. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why you are not seeing more. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. Very good. I'm, I'm sure you I'm, will see us eventually. I know that there are, uh, if you ask others, they will be telling you there's sightings all the time and they see things I'm asking, all the I'm time. asking. There is no increase of sightings. I, I keep an eye on them. I'm outside. No one around so far. All right. Okay. You, uh, but I keep you, looking. Where do you keep your, where do you look? Um, on the sky? Yes, when but I, I mean, where do you look to see that uh, it has not increased? Oh, uh, YouTube. Uh, the, there is a circulation of the old, uh, old videos, but new videos don't, don't show up. That and doesn't mean I, that there isn't any, but um, there are quite a few sightings. If you look under the Chile, Chile, there's sightings every day, all the time in South mm -hmm. America, many, many. In the Falkland okay. Islands, there's many, many sightings. Well, there's not a high population there, but the, mm -hmm. the ships are there all the time. Perhaps they're going to more remote places, but I know that there's a lot of ships uh, landing, uh, well, not, I'm not allowed to say that really, but I know that there are some landing in those areas that are remote. And now when the people are so occupied with the virus and the and market, there is a great opportunity for you guys to show much more. It wouldn't cause the panic. No, we would, we would gladly show you. That's not a problem. Uh, showing the ships is allowed because we are not landing or not uh, getting on off onto the earth. But um, there are those that still do that, but in remote areas. Thank you for that. And also sending videos to, to people and um, uh, holographic projections would also help. All right, very well. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, uh, that was I wrote, uh, what I wrote in the book. And uh, I said, when, uh, whenever there is a big calamity, you guys be ready and put more information. So it wouldn't cause this, this panic, but people would have it. And I think now it's exactly the time. Today is the time. I see. I understand. Um, how is the colonies? How do the colonies do it? The colonies are wonderful. We are, mm -hmm. they've expanded to seven colonies. Uh, we want to make an eighth colony, but they're, they're still struggling with uh, the idea for it. And so the first seven are working out quite well. Thank you. Uh -huh. How many people are present there? There are many civilizations or many species present here. Even ones that are not part of our alliance are, uh, come here to visit. And mm -hmm. um, we have taken many visitors from the earth as well. About 80 to 90 a day, or just on our particular ship, uh, we mm -hmm. have about 80 to 90 a day visitors from the Earth. So you're talking about astral. physical bodies or um, some project? No, astral. Astral. So how many physical humans do you have? There is two physical humans here. Okay, okay. Um, all right. They were grandfathered in a long time ago, before the sure. government said that no one was allowed to leave the planet so, or mm -hmm. come to the planet. So we were able to say, but these have been coming and we, they are part of our crew. And so they have allowed us to keep them 
uh, on the crew and uh, part of everyday life here and and send them back to the earth when necessary. So it's, oh, it's a very quiet thing because uh, they are single men, the both of them, and mm -hmm. uh, do not have families and no one really knows when they come or go. And uh, they can be gone for days at a time because they say they are on business trips or whatever, but they are taken from their place. Okay. So how are their um, talks with the government going? Anything new there? We have new talks coming up. Well, let's see. The, there's the May 21st to 23rd talks, which are the uh, aliens that have spouses that are humans. That is a big thing now. It's becoming a, a universal news item that there's many aliens of many species marrying Earth, Earthlings, and they want to have visitation rights and be able to bring their spouses to their planet. But at this point, it is uh, not, uh, not permitted. They were uh, married in the astral, and that is something that is, it's a very big uh, controversy. Uh, the other meetings are coming up in the end of June and into July. So the last meetings were very good, but they were, of course, the same old thing. Uh, people coming to terms with uh, what they believe is the right thing to do for themselves, not necessarily for their people, but for themselves, they cannot see us coming down. They don't want us there. They think we'll take over. We're smarter than them. We'll take away their businesses. It's just not true. We don't want anything to do with running your planet. It's a mess. Why would we want it? It's, we would just want to be there to meet the people to be friends with the people, to have your planet be part of the neighborhood and to be open, open with trade and medications and things of this nature, but they will not allow it. Right. So what, do you, what, do you, what would you uh, recommend to the listeners? I would recommend that keep faith and pray for your planet because it does need a lot of prayer. Your planet is in bad shape right now and very susceptible to extinction. But I do, I'm not saying that to make you afraid. I'm just saying that to wake you up. You are too narrow-minded when it comes to your planet's safety. No one care, uh, I shouldn't say no one, but very few care about what's happening to the planet ecologically and it needs to be cleaned up it needs to be pampered more it needs uh, some healthy decisions to be made about it that's all there are many things i could say um, many many things actually but this is not the right platform for that right things um Thank you very much for talking uh, and uh, updating. Um, I wonder if maybe Kuthumi or Krishna might come. Kuthumi or Krishna? Kuthumi, yes, or Krishna. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Very nice talking to you, Max. It's always lovely to see you. Thank you much. Much love. Much love. Namaste. Namaste.
This is Katumi. Greetings. Hey, Katumi. Thank you for coming. Ah, uh, Max, it is good to see you. I am very happy today. What brought your happiness? Well, I am always happy, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Um, so, what do you think about um, the recent developments? The recent developments are here for the Earth to achieve a greater understanding of who God is. It's an opportunity for praise and thanksgiving under times, in times of duress to mm -hmm. strengthen the spirit and the heart and the mind. It is a time to be aware of your oneself in a greater way in connection to God. Right. So I assume you are connected to many other um, spiritual beings who are, make a group that is uh, um, I'm connected exactly. to all. I'm connected to all spiritual beings. Right. Uh, I, I wonder if your if your team has a plan for us for that mm -hmm. period. An interesting way to say it, but we do not have a plan, but we have the answers already. We mm -hmm. don't need a plan. We need for the earth to listen to. Mm -hmm to what God has to say, to listen to the heart and the spirit, because all the answers are within each human being. So we don't need a plan. We need mm -hmm. them to listen to their souls, to the, the God portion of themselves, and they'll know exactly what to do and how to bring themselves forth. A plan from us is not necessary. Right. You do not seem convinced. <laughs> no, no, I understand. I just, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to talk to uh, people who live outside the plans, outside of time. But, you yes. know, we need something to grasp on. And why, um, can you, why you, can you not grasp the spiritual concepts? Um, I'm interested in finding out more about what is happening. And what is happening is interesting. It is. There is a big mystery here, and I wonder if uh, by talking to, to you, I might uh, shed a bit of light on what is happening. There Listen, is something underneath. Uh, okay. My dear friend, I, I am here to give you the spiritual understanding of what's happening, but if I were to tell you exactly what is going on, I, I would change history. And that is not what I'm here to do. I'm here to enhance what people know, how people feel, and grow them spiritually. I'm not here to be a news reporter about what is happening, but I am here to bring hope and understanding and peace of mind and God's spirit to each and every person. If I were to tell you all the things that were happening at the root of these things, as th someone said earlier, it would be an unkind thing to do because then many things would not happen that need to happen. Um, I'm, I tend to look at every virus as an upgrade. Perhaps. And the fact that few people die is... Uh, okay if the humanity is actually upgraded. Yes. Uh, and um, I see that in such events where there is a, a big impact, it brings uh, on, on the, some parts of the of the creation become actually of the of the of the planet become uh, discordant and chaotic, but uh, on other parts there is a, a lot of coherence coming up because people are united in many ways. Yes. So this coherence means uh, that there is um, there are some under 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 hidden hidden connections, and I'm 
I'm looking yeah. at this hidden connection. So this, uh, this uh, pandemic might be connected to the sun and it also might be connected to ascension somehow. Do you, do you have any insights into that? Yes, of course. It is the way of God to create a pathway to in, increased understanding and love through all situations. This is no different. And you're right, it will do so in some areas and in not so in others. But remember this, God is working to bring forth understanding, open eyes, and bring forth uh, his will on the planet as best as possible. Now, I see that you're a scientist and I know that. And so your mind works slightly differently than maybe others do. But you must understand, this is also a scientific process to see which humans will out, come out on top. Is it that uh, the East now comes on top and the West kind of falls into, uh, into submission? Let us see. <laughs> um, a lot of my friends moved to India. It's just, just uh, very interesting. What, what is happening in India? India is going through, uh, well, India is a very different place than most places. There are many languages, there are many kinds of people, and there are many kinds of religions and thought processes there, more condensed than in your land. And so, as you see these people, they are, knowing and understanding their way of religion, of, of peace with God. And so they are reaching out to their God for greater understanding. And, but unlike in this world where you live, they are not fighting one another to say, you are not praying right, you are not doing this right, you are not doing that right. But they are allowing each other to express themselves in, a, in the way they see best. And they are allowing the different gods that they have chosen, which is one god, really, when it comes down to it. If there is a religion with many gods, it's, a, it's many facets of the one god. So therefore, they are reaching out to God in a way that other places are not. So what do you think the virus will, uh, uh, I think Indians have lots more immunity. I think they kind of go, will, might go easier through the virus. What do you think? Yes, I do. The reason why they do go through the virus easier, a little bit, is because their immune systems are greater. They have been so close together for so long that they have gotten all the diseases because they are pressed together, they will get everything. Everyone in the whole land will be sick with the same thing and will then become immune to it. Right. Do you understand? And so yeah, therefore, their immune systems are greater equipped for it. Mm -hmm. So China and India and Japan might uh, come out on, on, on top and uh, yeah. Be more prosperous. Absolutely. Is it a good time to move there? That is a choice that you must make, not for me to say. All right. You see, we have come to be guides. We are guides for all people, but we are not decision makers for all people because we cannot be. If we were to decide things for you, then your life would be very different than it is now. Yeah, somebody, something brought me to San Diego. It wasn't my choice. It just happened. I was open to it, but it just happened. Yes. It was a, uh, was, uh, a series of circumstances, which is uh, fortunate, I think. But when you are open to it, then it can come much easier to you. You do not have right. to reach out and grab it. It can sometimes fall on you like a book from the shelf. 
Right. So I wonder what's the next move to India or Hawaii? Or, or should they stay, stick here? Well, that is a matter of question. Hawaii do you, <laughs> is the heart of the, of the earth in many ways. And India is not any of those things, but is a great place if you want to expand your cultural thoughts. I think my, my main uh, path is still discovering the, the, the DNA resonance code. Yes, of course. And I'm somewhat bothered that, uh, you know, by the time I discover people will be so busy with the survival, they wouldn't even notice it. But they will notice. Oh, my dear friend, all great things will, will be noticed because they are something of history, something that must come forth. So do not be afraid of these kinds of things because they are not able to be worried about by history. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so what do you think about Krishna? Uh, uh, <laughs> Krishna, is Krishna the highest consciousness or uh, an aspect of it? He is a very, very high consciousness. And yes, if you put your faith in him, he can be the highest consciousness. Uh-huh, 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 yeah, I'm somehow puzzled by, uh, by the name for God, I'm still trying to define it, and, and naming, the, naming God becomes more and more difficult. Let me simplify it for you. There are many names for God for a reason. The reason is this. Mm -hmm. There are many different kinds of people, and there are many faces to God and many facets to him. Some people will relate to this part of God and not to this. And some people will re relate to this part of God and not to that. You relate to God in your own way. Each individual is separate and will relate to him in one way greater than another. And so he needs many faces and he needs many names so that more people come to him and know him. Do you have a problem with that? No, no, I, I ran out of questions. Ah. <laughs> I, I wonder what, what should we do next? Um, uh, so much to ask, and um, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Let of, me say um, something for you now. Uh, okay. This, this life that you live is dependent on many things. It is, it is mm -hmm. dependent on money. It is dependent on your spirit. It is dependent on the people around you, healing and wellness. It is dependent on the family that you are part of. So as you look out into the world, you see a greater amount of discord than you have before for a reason. It is because God is training you to be able to deal with all things. This is when you become a full person. The person that you are meant to be is able to deal with all things easily because you understand them to a percentage point that you need. Now, you are in great understanding of many of these points, but give yourself over to God so that he may open your eyes on the things that you do not know or are not aware of. I know. That sounded a little bit of mumble jumble, but <laughs> it was not. <laughs> uh huh. Thank you. Uh huh. I am. My soft voice is different than my higher register, but that is all right. That's the way I'm coming through, but it is what it is. 
I love you very much, and I am with you always. And you call on me, and I will come. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I know that there has been great things in your life to overcome and to understand. And you are in a place to understand more things than some others. Thank you. Um, that was helpful. Thank you very much. You're, you're, you're bringing the energy which, which we need. Um, I, Thank you very I, much. I, I wonder if, uh, would, you, would you advise to invite Krishna? Is, is he available to talk? Ah, Krishna is available, yes. Always, always. But remember, he's a very bubbly character. He will okay. come in with a great amount of energy. <laughs> okay, all right. Much love to you, Max.